So we're off now. Best seed time here, Caleb McLennan with a 2.14. So probably expect them to go through in about 65. So I'll wait for Ian Sloan to call that lap time as they start to settle. So a lot riding on this, because Stanzo out well. The Yarra Rangers runner there is Hayden Rook. And looks like Bibile from a Box Hill running very well out front. So the pace is on as we'd expect when there's $100 up for the taking. The St Kevin's runner there, that's Will Hine. I think he ran extremely well at the last one of our meets, did young Will. So Rook not far off him. Bit of a gap then to the Western Athletics runner. I'm just trying to identify that one. So it's the other Ringwood runner. So Bibile leading. So we'll listen for the split here. 64 seconds through. So 64 seconds, Bibile leads it. Hine in second position. Looks like McLennan's starting to wind it up a little bit. He's just off the back there of Rook. You've also got the Richmond runner there in Skidmore. So McLennan. Probably looking pretty good there. The younger Ringwood runner there, he's also looking quite nice and starting to wind it up. But Bibile still leads from Hine. Bit of a gap then to McLennan. Hine now challenging Bibile, but Bibile is up for it. 200 out, and I think we might have a race in two unless McLennan can really make those big strides, and he's starting to do that. Big wind up here from the Doncaster runner. So he's into second now. Bibile's led all the way. It would be nice to see him rewarded for that effort. He looks around, looks one way, looks the other, and you'll see McLennan just bearing down. So Babile's got a bit of work to do, otherwise McLennan is going to come right over the top. But hats off to Babile, it's been a great run. But it's a Doncaster runner here. Caleb McLennan takes out the I race and $100. So good racing there, good solid pace. Isaac Babile, excellent pacing effort. But it was Caleb McLennan who took home that race.